we, you must produce well now. If you are all PMC members, you would know our motto is perform now, comrades, not yesterday or tomorrow. I'd like you to get together. You must have architects, etc. Work out in conjunction with the Ministry of Education what type of auditorium you'd like to see standing here. Now let us get our quantities. And I can assure you that provided the staff, the pupils, the Parent Teachers Association, and the people of New Amsterdam are prepared to put in their bit, government will do its bit and more than its bit. Yeah. We in the People's National Congress government lay no claim to divinity except that like all of us, God is our Father. But there's a certain divine quality uh, which we like to specialize in of helping those who help themselves. And that is the offer I bring you today. I was talking to my good friend Byro during the course of the afternoon's proceedings. And I said to him, do you still give senior school scholarships from Burbies High School the Queen's College? And he said, yes. And I said, why? Is Burbies like Nazareth that nothing good can come out of it? It has produced a Chancellor. As I said before, it has produced the Second Secretary General of the Commonwealth. We are anxious to see that all the facilities for education, training, including environment and exposure, are available to the people of Babis in the same way as they are available to the people of Demerara, Essequibo, Rupununi, or else. That's what we are aiming at. That in any part of Guyana you can go and within a reasonable radius, find all the facilities of civilization, including proper trading in proper surroundings. And if there is one thing I want to leave with you, it is that we must work together to ensure and that there is an end to the snobbery which used to exist but and still exists though to a lesser extent of a young man saying oh I went to Queen's College a young man must be able to say I was trained in Burbis full stop or I was trained in Guyana full stop and a young woman must be able to say I was trained in Babis or I was trained in Guyana, full stop. The excellence of the training and of the environment must be the same whether it be in Georgetown, New Amsterdam, Lethem, St. Ignatius, Skytuma, Crabwood Creek, Riverton, or what have you. But comrades, that cannot come about unless you Burbishans, I'm so much bossed by my wife, I almost said we Burbishans. <laughs> and it didn't take 1975 for my wife to be the boss. She was the boss before, and a long time before. I like to confess, I, I don't quarrel. <laughs> I admit, this isn't going to come about so far as New Amsterdam and Babis are concerned, unless we Babisians first of all cooperate and contribute 
towards raising the physical and intellectual standard and also develop in ourselves a pride. We talk about self-reliance. It takes many forms. We develop in ourselves a pride which makes us produce air as well as other people produce elsewhere in Guyana or for that matter in the world. I am fond of Burmese, if I had to advertise the fact, for many reasons. And I am hopeful that this new era which is dawning with the emphasis on equality of opportunity will find Burmese playing its proper role starting from the educational institutions. 